As a lot of people will know, IMAX has had a great partnership with NASA over the years, and they've actually taken the same cameras we were using, you know, to, to shoot this film. They've actually gone up on the space missions and, and filmed real you know, footage in, in low Earth orbit. So one of the first things I wanted to do for research was to view some original prints of the films that they've made. We did a day screening a series of different movies, of hours and hours of this incredible footage down at IMAX. I kept seeing the same name on the, on the films, which was Tony Myers. So, uh, uh, you know, Greg at IMAX offered to, to put us in touch and we, we called Tony because we wanted to say how much we'd appreciate our work and how much value we thought That's we'd so get nice. from it. The first one I remember would be um, the dream is alive. Mm. That, that would have That's been... the first time we flew cameras in space. Oh, that was the first time. <laughs> That's incredible. That's, I can remember that very clearly. <laughs> the benefit of being able to look at footage of the reality of, of being in Earth orbit, shot with the cameras that, on the format that we were then going to use. It's like there's a bunch of IMAX films yeah. to look at, and then you get to no, figure I out how to do that. I understand exactly how that would really help. This is due to, and I wanted to give him total credit for founding the space unit, is Graham Ferguson, who is the co-inventor of IMAX. And he was the pioneer that really um, taught us. He developed a syllabus for teaching astronauts. And, um, you know, a lot of credit goes to him. I think too few people are aware of the achievements that you guys have made in terms of getting those cameras up there. In the space shuttle, the flight deck and the aft flight deck is an incredibly small space. So you have very limited uh, places where you can put a camera. We just had to develop window brackets that you could place a camera on with Velcro and it would be there for them to work with. But basically it was ingenuity and you, you did replicate the feeling of a, of a small space. That's, that's going to be accurate. I was just astonished and astounded by Interstellar, but what I loved about it was the human story. And in our films, they're viewed as documentaries, and I know they've, they've inspired people to do things, um, but we're not telling the side of the story that you did, which is absolutely amazing, which is really what it is to be human in what we know of the universe and what we don't. Everything that we have, which is family and our relationships to one another, it is all tied up with what's going to happen when, when we move off the planet. I, I just thought that was absolutely astonishing. Oh, thank you.